have all heard of FlowEyes, a drag and drop UI application that helps you deploy and create AI agents to carry out various sorts of automations as well as fulfilling your tasks. But did you know that there is another open source Python powered, fully customizable model and vector store agnostic visual framework? Introducing Langflow, a framework for building multi agent rag applications. This is a great framework to deploy AI agents to carry out various sorts of tasks for you. Now, the framework has been around for a while, but recently it was acquired and just launched the Langflow 1.0 update. The Langflow 1.0 update is going to bring more flexible modular components as well as complex flows that are required for more advanced RAG techniques and multi-agent architectures. Langflow is now more much of a showroom of pre-built AI components which is going to be very well usable for regular users who want to basically implement AI into their workflows. Just take a look at this video demo, which is going to showcase how easy it is for you to utilize the pre-made chains and the flows to build your workflow. It's super easy to get started. This is a no-code platform that you can bring your vision to life within minutes. You can see that there is an open AI node linked to a conversation chain, which is pre-built to have it so that you can create this chatbot application within a couple of seconds and now that your flow is ready to run you can actually start interacting with it meaning that you can start chatting with it now and you're going to be able to see that your vision has basically come to fruition this is something that we're going to be exploring throughout today's video as i'm going to be showcasing how you can get started how you can install this locally as this is an open source platform like FlowWise. so with that thought guys stay tuned and let's get straight into the video now, before we get started, I'd like to introduce World of AI Solutions. This is a really big update that has been launched for my channel. And this is where I have compiled a team of software engineers. We have machine learning experts, AI consultants. And this is basically a team where we're going to be providing AI solutions for businesses, as well as personal use cases where AI solutions can be implemented to automate certain things or to help business operations. Now, if you're interested, take a look at the Typeform link in the description below. I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that will be releasing this week. If you would like to book a consulting call with me, you can do so with the link in the description below as well. So let's just get straight into this. First things first, we're going to talk about the Langflow 1.0 update. And as we talked about, it's going to be introducing a range of flexible modular components as well as complex flows that are essential for advanced RAG techniques and multi-agent architectures. This is where it's going to be evolved from being merely a showcase of pre-built AI components into a fully-fledged manufacturing plant, meaning that you can utilize all of these pre-built components as well as having the ability to customize them to build out your workflows. Now, it's basically a release that's going to provide essential building blocks to create customize as well as sharing your own reusable AI components. It's going to give you more control over advanced AI pipelines by supporting a variety of different types of models and data sources as well as APIs. But you can see over here, this is a tool calling agent that has been basically created based off the multi-agent architecture that was pre-built beforehand. Another update is that Langflow is now in the cloud. And this is where they're launching a new hosted Langflow service that's provided by Datastax. So if you want to skip the installation and start building in seconds, you can actually get started by just utilizing it through Datastax Langflow. This is actually free to use and it remains agnostic to any database, data source, or API. So you can just easily get started by going to this link, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. There's also a Langsmith integration, and this is where it has now been integrated with a full cycle life cycle of DevOps services. And this is from Langchain itself. It's gonna provide more monitoring as well as observability for your workflows as well as your AI agents. You can simply add your Langchain API key as an environment variable and you're good to go. You're gonna be able to track all these different metrics with the help of Langspit now. So how can you install this? Well, there's actually multiple methods and we already covered one of them. You can install this with pip, which is the method that I'm going to be showcasing. You can create your flows with the following commands, as well as deploying it with these other methods. Datastax is one of them, which we showcased previously. We have deploying Langflow on Hugging Face, where you can basically have it so that you can clone this repo on Hugging Face spaces. You can deploy Langflow on Google Cloud platforms by just simply clicking on this button over here. 
and this will have it so that you can deploy it in the Google Cloud Platform. You can also deploy this with Railway as well as Render and access it through command line interfaces. So if you're going to be following along with me and you're going to be installing this locally, you're going to need to follow through with these prerequisites. You need to make sure that you have pip installed as well as Python as your program language. Once you have these two things installed, we can then proceed forward with this installation. What you need to also make sure is you need to have Python 3.1 installed on your system. Now copy this command over here, go into your command prompt. Once you have opened this up, you want to then just simply paste this in and you're going to be able to then continue forward with this. So this is what it's going to be installing onto your computer. Once that's finished installing, we can then proceed forward by running Langflow with this command over here. Now they stated that you can also run this command over here. If you would like to install it from your cloned repo, you can then build and install Langflow's front end and back end with this command over here. But since we have already installed this with this uh, command over here, we're just going to start it up after it has finished. And once that's finished installing, you can just simply copy this command over here and you can run Langflow by just pasting this in and clicking enter. And you will be able to access it on your local host. So you can just simply copy this and then you can head over to your browser and then access Langflow. And there we go. We have our Langflow fully locally hosted now. So from here, what you can do is just click on new project. And this is where you can basically start off with the blank flow. Or you can utilize these templates that have been already created. For example, you have a memory chatbot, a basic prompting, you have a document QA, blog writer, vector store rag. In this case, we're going to start off from scratch and showcase all of these features. On the left hand side, you have all of these components that you can utilize to basically create your workflow. You have inputs where you can have a ch chat input or a text input. You have various outputs as to where this flow leads to. You have various integrations that you can link with DS, which is data tracks. So what you can do is actually go over to the main settings. So this is by just simply click on the settings tab, going over to settings. And then once you are over here, go on account settings. This is where you can basically go over to integrations and have it so that you can integrate all of these various providers. You can integrate different types of embedding providers. You can integrate different sorts of models as well as various plugins, as well as integration. This way you have other ways to have outputs as well as having it so that it can basically automate various things. You have various uh, prompt components. You have different data components where you can have API requests, directory, file, URL, as well as webhook inputs. You have different models that you can choose through, which is giving you a lot of different options. You have different helpers that can assist you, such as a chat memory, combining text, as well as vector stores and embeddings. Now this is just an example flow of a vector store rag and this is where you have two separate flows. You have one where the file is being integrated and splitting the text to the vector storage itself. This is the database and from here you have a chat input where the chat is going to basically inquire to the database about a certain topic. You have open AI's embedding which is utilizing OpenAI's models. And from here, you have it connected to the database. This is where the database will then parse the data. It will then prompt it. It will then have it sent back to the OpenAI model for natural language processing. And then it will output based off of the query that was sent into the database. And this is where you can then output this afterwards and play around with this chat model. For example, you can test it out over here. You can ask it certain things. Now that's just basically a gist as to what you can do with this new Langflow 1.0 update. I definitely recommend that you try this out and I'll leave all the links as to what I use in today's video in the description below. But that's basically it guys. Definitely reference your documentation because there is a lot of knowledge over here that you can basically extract. It showcases different types of starter projects that you can start up, different guides, workspaces, and it goes further in detail on each component. So definitely check this out. I'll leave this in the description below as well. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can access different subscriptions completely for free. This is something that you should definitely take a look at because it's not just about subscriptions, but it's also a great way for you to collaborate with other users in the AI space. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news as I'm constantly posting different updates over here. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. 
spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.